What's up, everybody? It's the Bipolar Prophet, and welcome back to Old Ridge Farm in Farming Simulator 15. So if you remember the last episode, we uh, finished up the harvest, um, and we brought some grain around to our uh, animals. Uh, so in this episode, uh, we're going to sell the rest of the grain, and we have a lot of cultivation that needs to be done. Uh, I was just watching a really cool video from David Oldfield, who was explaining the CAP uh, uh, program in England, um, or in the UK, I should say. Uh, and it sounded really cool, uh, you know, about how you have to plant a certain amount of crops per a certain amount of acreage. And, you know, and you have to have a certain amount of uh, what's called environmental focus areas, you know, the areas where birds and bugs and all that sort of stuff can live and do their thing. Um, you know, and, and I guess your payments, uh, there's some sort of payment schedule involved with that. Um, and it was all really cool. Uh, unfortunately, by reading and watching his video, uh, we do not qualify for any of that because we don't have enough acreage. We'll get there eventually. I just thought I'd bring that up because it was really neat. It was really interesting to watch. So let's go ahead and uh, let's see. Okay, we are here. Let's get this fired up. And uh, we can actually get this sold off. So now, uh, whoops, I seize. Jump in the cab. Turn on the beacon. And we will uh, we will hit the road here. Actually, I have a course for this, so instead of wasting time uh, to do this, I will... I think I have a course for this. Um, oh, not anymore, I don't. I used to. Uh, let's see. Transfer. Does David have something in the transfer? Uh, t -t 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 farm pig and beef. Yes, that's the one I want, I think. Let's see where this goes. If we set it on transfer mode, what's he got his speed set to? Uh, yeah, 10 miles an hour, a little slow. We'll go up to 50. Uh, we'll go up to 20. And 20. Jeez. Now, let's see where this course actually starts. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, all my courses got sort of overwritten uh, when I put in uh, his, which is fine. Not a big deal. Um, uh, it would probably be helpful if I turned on all the waypoints, too. Oh, there we go. There it is. Found it. <laughs> it would make sense that it would obviously come down this way, uh, this being the pig and beef uh, area. So, you know, like I said, at least one... Uh, break at least one thing uh, with with David Oldfield's courses you know they're gonna work so all right so we'll get him uh, going here at the nearest waypoint I guess and see what happens and off he goes very good okay so now even though like I said I'm using a completely different combination of um, you know of, of tractors and trailers uh, with these courses, they should still work. So David was pretty careful when he created them. You know, he drove right down the middle of the road. And there's no ridiculously sharp turns or anything, which is good because uh, this thing does not have a very good turning lock, as, you know, you guys all know. I've said it over and over again. Okay, so let's tab to our other tractor, um, and let's go ahead. You know what? I'm going to, oops, I'm going to start it first. Oops. Oh, I'm a little out of it this morning. I'm very tired. I haven't been sleeping very good lately, so... Um, I'm just really tired. And let's go ahead and uh, disconnect this. Uh, we don't need that for what we're about to do. So and we'll go uh, start cultivating these fields. So. And then we can fertilize them afterwards. Um, this Ford has plenty of horsepower to run this cultivator, so not an issue there. Jeez, I really am all over the place this morning. But and Get hooked up to that. This is pretty heavy, um, especially as you can see the front of the tractor lifts up. Uh, it's not bad when the cultivator's in the ground. This tractor doesn't have any front weights on it, so, you know, that's unfortunate. But, oops, you can see it's uh, it's actually really light on the front, but uh, it's only like that. The front wheels aren't even touching the ground, really. Uh, it's only like that when, you're, when the cultivator is up, so. Uh, is this realistic? Probably not. <laughs> but I could have probably put the... Uh, put this on the uh, tipper and put the um, IH on the cultivator. That probably would have made more sense, but yeah, you know me. What? Since when do I ever do anything that makes sense? So, 
So we're going to come over here now, and we're going to let our... I think we're going to let course play handle this, too. Might as well test out David's courses. We know they work. Assume, assuming I can figure out which field is which over here, what he calls uh, field A and B over here. Let's see if we can figure them out. Uh, let's see. Field A. Let's try this. Uh, I believe this thing is three meters. I'm pretty sure it's three meters. That's the one we want. Oh, so that's field A over there. Okay. Well, we'll start over there, then. <laughs> uh, where is the start point? Where is the start point? I wonder if we dare try to let him find the start point. Let's see what happens when we uh, let him find the start point. Oh, uh, we need field work. Yep, that's what we want. Drive course. See if we'll do anything completely ridiculous. Uh, when he goes, we can turn off all these waypoints. Uh, trying to find the start point. So There it is. My mouse has been just completely insane uh, the last couple days. Uh, so update on the new mouse I bought. Yeah, no, no go. They actually refunded my money. I don't know. Apparently they don't make that mouse anymore or whatever. I guess that's what I get for trying to be cheap um, <laughs> and trying to save a couple bucks. You know, uh, they did offer me other mice, uh, other mouses, mice, I guess is the word. But uh, they were all really expensive. So and I just don't have the money. So I'm going to have to put up with wonky mouse until what are you doing? What you, of course you're going to drive right into a tree. Wow, that didn't take long at all. Oh, okay. Let's try that again. So now I'm going to need to know where these uh, where these waypoints are. Oh, boy, we're starting off good this morning, huh? Yeah, we are. Um, where did he just come from? He just came from over here. So it, so it seems to me like he didn't actually start at the first waypoint. Oh, there's the first waypoint. All right, let's try this again. Obviously, you know, it's not it's not David. It's not David's courses. It's me, you know. It's it's my uh my wonkiness, no doubt. So I think it wants to go uh this way. I believe. Let's find out. Let's see what it does from here. Oh, it definitely wants to go that way. What I don't understand is how come it doesn't make a turn at the end of the row. Oh, because there's a tree right in the way. So, where it wants to turn, yeah, see, it comes down here. And then where it wants to turn is too far off the edge of the, yeah, and there's a tree in the way. Ugh. That's weird. You know, I wouldn't expect that to have happened with, uh, with one of his courses, but okay. You know, obviously it did. Uh, see, he's got it going... This way, up and down, where I would probably have set it the other way to go up and down. So let's see if I can find the right direction uh, for this thing to want to go. And maybe, hopefully, it will now uh, be able to figure itself out. I mean, that's the whole reason you put a headland in the, you know, in a course to begin with. So stuff like that doesn't happen. Let's see what it does here. Oh, okay, that should be uh, that should be okay. We'll find out. Uh, if he misses a bunch, you know, we can always just come back and clean it out. Like, you said, like I said, once this thing, once the cultivator gets in the ground, it's not bad. It's just when it lifts it up, it kind of lifts the whole front wheels of the tra tractor up. So, uh, and that's probably a problem with course play, too. Of course, play's having a hard time steering it, so. Miss the hedge. I wanted to give a big shout-out to, uh, to a guy named Sean Blaylock, um, a, a YouTuber, uh, a new YouTuber making farm sim videos, make great farm sim videos, just super realistic, uh, you know, very knowledgeable about what he's doing and, and, and the way he does it and everything. Um, and he was giving me some crap about taking down all the hedges uh, on Old Ridge. You're absolutely right, Sean. Um, I have pretty much driven through every hedge on this map. So uh, even though I, I really do try not to, I really do. But sometimes you can't help it. Uh, at least I can't help it. Um, so... Uh, but yeah, you guys, I'll leave a link to his uh, to his channel in the description of this video. And as well, he's also on my featured channels list. Uh, you guys should definitely go check him out. Working on a map called Coldborough Farm, which is a very nice map, uh, and doing a really good job. So, I, you know, if he keeps it up, he's got a great future on YouTube. So, okay. So it looks like this may work now. Um, and the, our other tractor has reached its waiting point. So let's go ahead, turn these off. Uh, hopefully nothing else silly will happen, and we'll just clean up whatever mess he leaves. So, we'll switch back to this tractor now. Okay, now, we need to get on the, uh, are we on the right side of this thing? 
we are. Okay. So let's go ahead and uh, stop this, reset this. And what have we got in here right now? We've got uh, wheat. So uh, I got to pull up a little bit, apparently. Oh, okay. Turn that back off. Oh, not quite under it, I guess. There we go. What's the story? Why can't I fill this up? Why can't I fill this, uh... Why can't I fill this tipper up? Well, I'm having all kinds of problems today, huh? <laughs> what is he slipping on now? Ah, oh, he tried to back into a tree, really. Just go. And I know everybody's going to say, you know, oh, well, you know, just let him figure it out. He'll he'll figure it out. Yeah, I don't know. I'm too old school for that, I guess, as I've said over and over again. Whenever I see a little alert pop up, I get nervous, and I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm just going to go check it out. So, no, obviously, because he wasn't completely wrapped around the tree, he did figure it out. So, okay, good for him. Uh, I, I'm resisting the urge to cutting down every tree around these fields. I really am. Uh, it is my first, like, instinct to say, okay, these trees are going. I've had enough, you know. But uh, that's not, you know, that's not really the way you want to do it. You know, I think it, like I said, it just kind of ruins something about the map, I think, if you if you do too much to it. So, all right, figure yourself out, son, while I try to figure this out. I don't know why I can't, uh, why I can't fill up on my uh, wheat here. Okay, you know what we're going to do? Let's see. Uh, first of all, we got to check to see where wheat is actually selling good. Uh, wheat. Oh, that's probably why, because we don't have any wheat. That would explain it, because I'm a massive idiot. There you go. If I just, if you just look, John, you might be able to figure it out. Uh, okay. Uh, 670 to the Cobb. 687 to the Farm Shop. 687 to Old Ridge Hotel. So, uh, either the hotel or... The farm shop. Let's see. Let's see what we have in here now. Uh, sell, sell roots. Yep. Oh, they're also nice and neat. They won't be when I'm done. Sell to the farm shop. Sure. Why not? And make sure we switch to a grain unloading course. Uh, actually, we don't need a grain unloading course because we're out of wheat. But what he will do, I think, if I change this to... What's the next one? Do, do we have anything else? Canola. If I change this to canola, he may, uh, when he comes back, hopefully, um, fill up with canola. We'll see. i got to back up a little bit, or he'll try to spin around. So, drive course. And give me some blinker. I mean, some beacon. I know you're working. And off he goes. So, there you go. I will say that the, the International's not thrilled. That's way too fast. The International's not thrilled about... Uh, going that fast, so we're gonna over this bumpy bit. Oh, we'll just slow him down because what he'll do is he'll spin out or he'll start hunting. So there you go. Um, you know this. You wouldn't I, at least the way I look at it is I don't know that you'd be flying down these roads anyway. They're pretty narrow. So all right, very good. So he's selling stuff. Uh, the Ford is cultivating. Uh, I'm actually going to watch him. Look at this. That, that's some precision right there. Staying off the grass. Staying off your, you know, your EFA land and all that. So, very cool. Very, very cool. Even with this tractor, you know. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and watch him do his thing for a minute. Um, you know. Because I don't know that I've, uh, sold anything. Oh, yeah, yeah. No, we've brought stuff to the farm shop before. Wow, am I wildly unfocused in this video or what? Apparently I am. You know, let's jump in the cab. Let's jump in the cab. So, yeah, and, and the good thing is the farm shop's not very far away, so uh, we'll make a little bit of money. I think we're going to buy another tractor. I think we need another tractor. Having one more would be would be ideal, I think. Um, I don't know what we're going to buy. Uh, something, you know, medium-sized probably. Uh, these, this, uh, the International is 148, I think. I think the Ford is 168. So if we get something around, you know, maybe 200, that would be good. We'll see once we're done selling everything here how uh, how much money we have, and then we can take a look at tractors. So get all these fields cultivated, and uh, we won't need to fer actually we won't need to fertilize uh, any of these fields really because we have the chopped straw. So so that'll be good. All right. Oh. Oop. 
Phone's ringing, guys. Be right back. Uh, I had to take that call. So, you know, again, I, I've had a long stretch of, uh, of videos without phone calls in them, so I guess I was due. Okay, so he's doing just fine. Uh, we made a couple thousand dollars off of that. But now he'll come back and fill up with canola, and uh, we'll... Uh, Unfortunately, I'm just going to sell the canola at the farm shop. It's 1057 pretty good. Um, it's, you know, the OEB's selling for a little better. But to be honest, actually, 1181 at OEB. Yeah, you know what? Okay, stop being cheap. And we'll just let we'll let him come back and we'll send him to OEB instead. Uh, just to make that little extra bit of money. Let's go check on what this guy's doing. So he's doing fine now. He's kind of out of the tree zone and whatnot, so... Yeah, I gotta say this uh, this TW10 is growing on me. Uh, definitely, uh, definitely getting to where I, I like it. Um, you know, I liked it when I first downloaded it. Then I used it a few times. wasn't sure if I liked it, but you know what? I do like it. Uh, one thing I wish, kind of, and I realize that this is an in-game thing and it can't really be changed, but I wish those front loader brackets were a little bit smaller. They just look kind of big on this tractor, I think. So, um, but other than that, you know, I really, really like this tractor. So. Uh, Sean Blaylock, that's for you, buddy. I just drove through another hedge. <laughs> ah, the poor birds and bugs. I'm never gonna get never gonna get an EFA payment for that, I guess. Um, you know, that's one of those things that you know that I mean, who else would do that, right? David Ophill went out of his way to research it to to find to find out about it. Had some help apparently. Uh, you know, he mentioned some other people in the video, and uh, you know, and then and then explained it to everybody else, which I think is really cool. That would be a really cool mod uh, if you know you could figure it out with all the scripting and the tons of stuff that you'd have to do to uh, actually make it happen. But it's really neat, I think. Um, you know, and, and another level of realism. You know, you know, I, I, it's funny. I'm always the one on about realism, but I'll be the first one to drive through a hedge. So, <laughs> oh well, what are you gonna do? It's going to be a lot of cultivation, um, you know, in, in this episode, it looks like. Uh, we're going to sell off the rest of these grains. We're going to keep – we'll keep the um, sugar beets and the potatoes for the animals uh, just because they're not really worth very much. Uh, at some point, we're going to have to put sugar beets and potatoes in the ground anyway, uh, which means we're going to have to come up with some system of getting a, uh, a planter and a um, harvester. So uh, it'll be a trailed harvester most likely. I don't think I'll – you know, the, the money of the big self-drives is just, it's way out of our reach right now, so. All right, so let's go back and see what this guy, yep, he's filled up with canola. He's headed back to the farm shop now, which is fine. Yeah, you know, maybe I should have, you know, been a little smarter and, and uh, changed his course, but you know what? That's fine. Now, how much of this do we actually have? Uh, we have a little bit of that left. And then it's just potatoes, sugar beets, and wood chips. We might as well sell those wood chips, too, I guess. We have 17,500 liters of wood chips. Might as well sell those and, you know, really kind of maximize the amount of money we can make uh, today. And then we can look at another tractor. I also am seriously thinking about buying this field over here um, and either chaffing that alfalfa like we did last time, which, you know, was a was a massive project, or um, just turning it in. Um, but I kind of want it. Uh, I kind of want it for the chaff. Uh, not that we really need the silage so much, but... Because I'm probably going to move all that silage that's in those bunkers anyway out of the uh, out of the bunkers and into the storage. So uh, this will bring a this will bring a few bucks. This uh, the canola will put us over a hundred thousand, uh, which I think will be good. So well, this load will actually put us over a thousand, so hundred thousand. Yep, very nice, very nice, very good. Okay. I might save the wood chips. You know, I, I, I always do this. I say, oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that, and then I'm like, eh, you know what? I might save the wood chips for a rainy day, actually, uh, meaning, you know, in case we ever get to the point where we need, you know, a couple seventeen, eighteen thousand dollars $18,000 real quick. So I think I may do that because um, I sold a whole bunch of wood chips when I cut down all the trees for the orchard uh, area over there. Uh, we're going to get to that real soon, too, I promise. Um, I know I haven't been, uh, I, you know, I cut down the trees and I made a big deal about it and then I haven't done anything with it, but we will. I just want to get the rest of the farm really kind of situated. I suppose I ought to take a look at the animals uh, while we're here too, see how they're doing. Uh, I'm sure they're fine. Uh, yep, they've got plenty of everything. Uh, plenty of water, plenty of straw. There's plenty of milk in the tank. Uh, they're making a little bit of liquid and solid manure, which is very nice. So um, we don't have any sheep, so not yet, not any regular sheep anyway. 
Uh, let's see. Yep, these guys are all doing good. Mixed rations, grain. Earth fruit, silage. Uh, water is good still. Uh, straw. They're making a little manure and slurry, which will always be, which would be nice as well. Uh, no sense buying a livestock trailer yet. There's only there's only two of uh, beef cattle that are ready. Only two um, pigs too. So, uh, ah, did I not bring these guys grain? Whoops. No, they'll have to get it on the next trip. Oh. <laughs> uh, so they have everything else they need, right? Yep. Okay. All right. So they're all set. Let's switch back to this guy. He's going to drive through a hedge again. I'm glad I caught that, uh, you know, for you guys that enjoy watching uh, my stuff drive through hedges. <laughs> you know, as advanced as these games are getting, I would bet at some point there'll be, there'll be versions of this game, maybe with a course play sort of feature built into it, or maybe the people who create course play will, you know, will have the, the code and the technology. And, you know, they do such an awesome job now. Uh, to make you know collision avoidance, where you know it won't it won't drive through a hedge, it won't try to clip a tree, you know, and they're working on that now because the the collision avoidance is much better than it ever was, certainly. So uh, there's just times where you know the tractor just physically can't make a turn the course play wants to make, uh, and it's you know and it's going to turn into a tree or it's going to turn into a building or whatever. So you know that that is kind of the way it works. Oh, this guy's going to need to go. Uh, we'll just send him on his way. Drive now. Thank you. I do enjoy watching this thing work over this, uh, over this little track, though. That's a lot of fun, watching all that stuff uh, flex up and down. Probably going a little too fast, but that's okay. It's fun to watch. The old IH can handle it. She's a tough old girl, also. One of these days, we're going to do something fun on this on this map. <laughs> I know it doesn't seem like we ever do, uh, you know, we ever do. Like, I don't do a lot. Of, I've done all the silage. Uh, you guys did get to see that. So um, I don't really need to do any mowing or anything. I have more than enough hay. I have enough hay to last a very long time. So um, one thing I could, oh, I don't have a tractor down there. I'd have to run all the way down there. Uh, could check to see how the mix station's doing. It should be fine. Um, so... We're still on the same day, actually. It's still day nine, technically, you know. Because uh, I keep forgetting to get the new fast-forward mod, so I keep so I can't fast-forward because it'll stall out the animals, uh, you know, to make them pause, and then they won't ever start again. And I don't want to do that, so. Uh, but I will get it so that we can fast-forward when we need to. Um, you know, but again, this is farming, right? This is, this is kind of what it is, so. Okay. I think uh, once he sells this load of canola... And goes back to the farm, or at least once he sells this load of canola, we will look at another tractor, uh, see what we can pick up, um, and probably wouldn't hurt to get another tractor going uh, with maybe a, another cultivator uh, or a plow and turning this stuff over. Or maybe even seeding. Maybe maybe that's what we'll do. Maybe we'll get, uh, we'll get another tractor, and we'll get that tractor seeding, and then I'll just buy another cultivator. And once the IH is done, he can start cultivating as well. And then we'll have everybody working, um, and we'll be cultivating and seeding. So hopefully we'll be a little ahead of the game. So Now, has he sold off his stuff yet? He's selling it right now. Whoa, that's a weird view. <laughs> oh, yeah, $115,000. Okay, let's jump into the shop and take a look. Uh, let's tr start with in-game stuff, I guess. Uh, no, this is a decent little tractor, I will say. You know, and I and, and I don't use it. I used it a lot in Farming Simulator 2013. I haven't used it in Farming Simulator 2015 yet. Uh, the Ursus. That's a big tractor for not very much horsepower. That's what it always strikes me as. Uh, the Linder, 102 horsepower, 94,000. Now it's kind of small. Uh, the Multi, which is nice, but... Now, now we're out of our price range now. Uh, we're out of our price range. All right, let's look and see what we have in mods for tractors. I know I have a bunch. I have a lot less than I did. I got rid of a whole bunch of them. Uh, obviously, nothing in the case range. Uh, they're way too expensive. So, uh, I don't want another one of those. Uh, these are kind of underpowered for what I want to do. Um, jeez, 
how hard of a decision you know it must be it must be a tough decision when you go to buy a new tractor i mean obviously because you're going to spend what is going on with my mouse here you're going to spend so much money you know you want it to be uh yeah let's buy that probably not <laughs> you want it to be the right choice you know so yeah. see i got rid of so much stuff that i don't really have anything uh, what do we do here what do we do Ah, oh, sorry this episode's kind of all over the place guys i'm 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 thinking and, and trying to work at the same time, so not always a good thing. 135, 143 for the Agristar. We know this is 75. Do we buy this Bureau and get him on a Cedar? Do we buy the Ursus, which we haven't used before, for 82,000, 148 horsepower? Okay, you know what? Let's buy it. Let's be done messing around. <laughs> Let's just buy it. Okay. So, now if we can tab to that. Yep, you're just, you're doing fine. And there she is. There's our brand new Ursus tractor. I'm not a massive fan of these things. Uh, it looks okay, you know. It's it's not horrible by any means. But it could be better, I think, uh, you know. But, okay. We own it now, and we haven't used it. So, um, the interior is not awful, I guess. Okay. Uh because I am in such I'm such a fan of these courses now. I just want to use them all the time. Farm to shop. That's the one I want. Very good. Go ahead and turn all the waypoints on. And drive the course. Thank you. Oh, I should have picked up a weight for him. He's gonna need a weight. Oh, I may actually have one at the farm, actually, I believe. Uh, we we will find out. Yeah, you know, it's not, it's not, um, I don't know. It's not awesome, but it's not horrible either. So I can definitely deal with it. And, uh, you know, it's, like I said, it's something we haven't used before. So why not? So once he gets back to the farm, we'll get him uh, going on something. Probably seating, I would imagine. Okay, so you're done. Uh, you are done. So we can stop you. Reset you. We'll get this tipper parked up. Get you on, uh, I don't know, a plow maybe? Cultivator? I think we have a plow. Um, oh, whoa, easy. Jeez. Really need to get these brakes looked at. Oh, here comes the Ursus. It's not a very long trip from the shop to the farm. When you know how to get there. Oh. Now, let's see if I can back this in here without crashing in anything. Easy. E Mr. Scarecrow. The acceleration of this, of this IH is pretty impressive. <laughs> it's got some, it's got some big old low gear, so, you know, you would expect that, though. Okay, so you can stop right there. And now, what do we want to do? Do we want to get the Ursus? Uh, I don't. You know what? I'm not even 100 percent certain how much horsepower this has. I believe it's 148. I think, but I'm not 100 percent certain. Let's see if it'll tell us. 145. Okay. So they're all about the same. The TW uh, makes 143. I said 168. I'm sorry. Uh, it's 143. And then the Ursus uh, is the big winner at um, 148. So they're all about the same uh, horsepower, which, you know, okay, well, maybe not the best choice, but, you know, it works for me. So, And there'll be, uh, there'll be plenty of tractors uh, on this Let's Play, I'm sure, as we go along, so. All right, now I know we have a plow. I just need to find it. There it is. I think we'll go plow um, field B there, uh, or field A, the other field, anyway. Okay. I can't see what I'm doing. That's not much better. Wow. Wow. I should probably drink a lot less coffee in the morning. I mean, how long did it take me to get to back up to this plow? That's a little ridiculous. And hook up to it. Very good. Jump out. Uh, we're going to need some more weights on this, obviously. So let's go ahead and... Oh, that should be enough. I don't think actually it'll even need that much. This plow's not all that big. But, you know, we'll... Uh, just to make sure. So 
Make sure we're not lifting the front end off the ground. Oh, the turning radius, though. I may have to go all the way. I may have to go full weights on this. I don't know. Front end feels very light. I guess it's okay. All right, easy over these bumps. You're carrying a big old heavy plow. Be real easy to snap the back half of this tractor off. On the interest of not making these episodes super long, uh, this one's 15 minutes, the other one was 14, so we're up to 30 minutes already. Uh, I think I'm going to just go ahead and get this guy started over here uh, and call this an episode. Uh, again, you know, I, I know not the most exciting, you know, I say that a lot, uh, and I really want to stop saying that because I'm having fun, you know, this is all farming, this is all stuff that obviously needs to be done. So, um, you know, and I figure why not show you guys, you know. Um, uh, let's see, what, what is going on over here? Okay, yep, he's still driving through hedges over there. Perfect. And because I can, let's get... Uh, field B. And I'm not quite sure how big this thing is. I think it's three meters. Oh, this plow. Let's, uh, let's see if we're on the right track here. It needs to be on field work. And turn this on, and turn these on, and turn this on. Uh, yep, now where's the start point for this? I think it's down there, if I remember right. Let's go ahead and uh, let's let him try to find it. God only knows what's going to happen. Ah, oh, and we're plowing. Uh, you know, uh, I don't plow a whole lot. Um, I I've been wanting to do more of it. Uh, just because it's neat now, you know, with the plows that get dirty and everything. I think it's cool. Uh, so, you know, why not do it? <laughs> but, uh, what are you plowing? What are you plowing? See, this is why you really want to uh, you really want to get him going on the first waypoint, you know, by himself. Oh, uh, no, we need to lift that up. We need to lift this up. There we go. Uh, because otherwise, he'll just do silly stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just so out of it today that I uh, I'm not really I'm like oh I'll just let it find the waypoint because I can't do it. You know, I need to get some sleep. Too much caffeine during the day and, and, you know, not enough sleep at night. Not a good thing. All right, BP, we don't care. Just make videos. <laughs> okay. I'd like to not plow at 10 miles an hour, though, to be honest. That's a little... That's a little fast. I'd like to plow at about 5, I think. Okay. And we are plowing. And we'll get rid of that and that. And we can actually get rid of all of them. There you go. So there you go. So we got one field that's uh, we're plowing. We got one field we're cultivating. Uh, after that, after this field is plowed, uh, I'll get that guy over here to cultivate it, um, and then our new Ursus will uh, probably be hauling a cedar around and seeding these fields with something. Um, I will figure out what we've put canola and wheat in the ground now. Uh, maybe barley, I guess. Uh, why not? Or maybe soybeans. We haven't done soybeans yet. And then I think I'm going to try to devise some sort of rotation scheme. Um, for these fields so that we can do, you know, kind of the same thing, you know, uh, as David Oldfield is doing. Well, sort of the same thing. He's doing it far more realistically than I'll do it, I'm sure. But it uh, looks like we might be missing a little bit of three meters. I may have to... Yeah. Uh, yeah, he's going to leave a strip at three meters, huh? So this plow isn't quite three meters wide. Okay. Let me just fix that right now before I forget. Uh, working with 8.5 meters. Uh, no, that would not be right. 1.8 meters. That's better. 2 meters. Uh, yep. Well, I'll just make a new course, I guess, from this one. Uh, no, actually, I don't want to do that. Let me do this. Here you go, guys. Here's some, here's some silliness. Uh, I'm going to reset that. I'm going to... Uh, see, these fields aren't on the map. That's the only thing. Uh, how am I going to do this? Oh, you know what I can do? Can I do this? Will it do this? I don't know if it'll do this or not, but let's find out. Let's get in the field and see if it'll... I mean, I could just put them on hired worker, I guess. I just don't want to spend the money. I'm too cheap. Oh. 
Oh yeah, there you go. Uh, we're gonna call this twenty-five. Yes. All right, so we have that done. Now we need this uh, two meters. Nope, that that's gonna be too wide. I think I'm gonna go down to one point five. That may be too much overlap, but uh, we are at the south. West, and we want to go north. And uh, do you do headlands with plows? You do. Uh, we'll do two, I think, should be enough, and we'll do them afterwards. I don't know. That could be all wrong. We will see. Oh, we got to put the field edge path in. Field 25. And generate the course. Then we turn on the, uh, turn on the waypoints. All right. Uh, it's not going to be as nice as David Oldfield's, that's for sure. You can see the massive amount that it misses there in the middle, uh, but that's okay. I can live with that. Um, I'm wondering if I put him on hired, if I put him on regular hired worker, what he would do. Ah, uh, you know what? It'll be fine. I think I obviously uh, picked the wrong end of the field. Oh, uh, Mr. Direction over here, right? <laughs> All right, turn those off. Uh, so there you go, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Again, you know, it's 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 farming, right? You know, it it's uh. You know, it's going to be a lot of cultivating, a lot of plowing, a lot of seeding, a lot of harvesting, a lot of doing stuff like that. I know I'm having fun. I hope you guys are having fun. Um, you know, I just want to make sure you guys all know how much you guys mean to me. The channel is we're real close to 1,600 subscribers. It's amazing. Uh, I feel like I just did the 1,500 subscriber um, Q&A video. Uh, so it's really cool. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, and, of course, he's going to drive right through a tree on his way over here, right? Oh, no. Yeah, just plow off the edge of the field, I guess. That's fine. Come on. There you go. Very good. Oh, let's get rid of this. Uh, so, yeah, guys. So, thank you so much for everything. Um, you guys are all awesome. You know that. Uh, thanks for putting up to the, you know, with the videos when they're maybe not as much fun as they should be or they're not as much, you know, maybe not as, as exciting as they should be or whatever. Uh, you know, and, and I'll do my best to make the best videos I can for you guys. As always, thanks so much for making me a part of your YouTube day. And this is the Bipolar Prophet saying...